I don't like the sound no. of that at all. <laughs> We have one right oh, here. This is actually a small one. The flavor is, is just cricket. Another cricket. Cricket? Whoa! Hey everyone, my name is Philip Wang. Welcome to Spill the Boba Tea, a show where I bring friends over to my cafe, Boba Mofo, after hours for a special, exclusive, and private drink making session where we come up with a beverage that is completely unique and inspired by my guest's life and career. Today, we have Ross Butler with us. Yeah, but you might know him. <laughs> you might know him as Nathan Pierce from Teen Wolf, Reggie Mantle from Riverdale, Zach Dempsey from 13 Reasons Why, Trevor, just Trevor from the To All The Voice <laughs> trilogy, and Ian Yorita from a single episode of oh Major Crimes. Come on. Man. I had to go pretty deep in the IMDb for that. Okay. <laughs> do you remember? Do you yes. remember that? That was my first ever. That's your first credit. My first credit. What was the episode about? What were I you, was what was I was an Asian American teenager in high school okay. that was a drug dealer, All but right. I also got accepted into Stanford. Okay. So I was like a smart drug dealer. Got it. So you were a high schooler. That was when the yeah. high school started for you. You've been in high school for 15 years since. Just yes. Kidding. No, I've, no, actually, I've been in high school, <laughs> well, no longer, since I was actually 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm like turning 31 in a week. <laughs> So uh, that's like... That's a good run, man. That's a good run. Yeah, 17 years. Well, today <laughs> we are at my cafe and we're going to be making a very special drink that is okay. completely unique to you. Ooh. I did my research. I have a lot of every ingredient here and some that I have hidden are, um, are related to your life or career. I'm kind of scared, dude. Have you ever made a boba drink before? No. All right. What's your first memory of boba? Or you're from the East Coast, so... Yeah. Do you call it bubble tea or boba? Bubble tea. Bubble tea was... Uh, right, guys, cut the cameras. We can't continue. Listen, <laughs> listen, I've lived here for 10 years. I'm a West Coaster now. Yeah, okay, I don't okay. associate with the East Coast <laughs> anymore. Actually, back then, uh, there wasn't a ton of yeah. bubble tea. I definitely haven't made any. I don't know if that's like a normal thing that if you don't own a cafe... <laughs> like, yeah. do people make boba tea like in their kitchen? You know what? I think the pandemic... Uh, inspired a lot of people to oh, start. Yeah. The first ingredient we yeah. actually have here is inspired actually by the fact that you were, you grew up in Indonesia, in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um, Jakarta. But, uh, yeah, Jakarta. But you yeah. were born in Singapore. Yes. Your mother's Chinese Malaysian. Yes. You have the Southeast Asian <laughs> region on lock. Yeah, I, I'm representing a lot of countries down there. Right. So this is actually uh, a jackfruit oh. puree. H have you ever seen a jackfruit before? Yes. We have one right oh, here. This is actually is. a small one. Yeah, no, I, I love these little babies. Like, you, do you do curls with these? No, it's a little light, you know. <laughs> it's a little light, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, this is, a, this, that's is a, this is a good one. So, I mean, that's your parting gift. We can put that to the side there later. You can actually take that if you is want. It? <laughs> yeah. Your new little baby, yeah, you came out the same Actually, April. no, I actually love that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that right there. Perfect, perfect. No, durian is like one of my favorite fruits. And I know it's a, the same, and it, but it's a lot more dangerous than this A thing. little bit, yeah. Yeah, the spikes so, are. So we made a puree out of it. Awesome. So we're gonna start off with three one ounce scoops. That's three, three ounces. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna go straight into the bottom of the cup. This so you've awesome. never made this unique mixture of... So I'll be honest with you, we tried it yesterday. You know what? Let's yeah. We'll we'll see where we we'll uh, see what happens. Th yeah. You know what I mean? That's plenty. That's plenty. <laughs> I think that's good. I think that's good. I like jackfruit. Okay. All right, yeah. That, <laughs> I was gonna say I got the jackfruit because we got a jacked guy here. For good. For good. For good. More jacked. More jacked. Just gotta better. Better. get more jacked. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, growing up in Indonesia. Yeah. You were there for how long before you moved? Five, four or five years. Four or five years. Yeah, you, yeah. What's your most vivid memory of of Indonesia? Do you remember like a, 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 a crush that you had on like a girl on the street or something? When I was or, two? No, when you were four, <laughs> like, four or five. Like, I, was, no, I, I remember having like a girlfriend in first grade, okay. but like oh Sydney Goodhand. If, oh, wow, if she's out there watching, I, I will never forget the name, Sydney Goodhand. Does um, she have any idea that, that you had a crush on her? No, we, Is this we, the first it was time? official. It we was were like, in our, sorry, we, not a crush, yeah. Put, Excuse Sydney me. Goodhand and I, <laughs> we, were, we were going steady. <laughs> <laughs> the next ingredient, that we're gonna put in here is actually gonna be the boba balls. We're actually gonna go right oh. into the boba balls. But you'll notice that there's there's only 13. One for each reason. 
<laughs> That's a 13 Reasons Why I reference, known. by the way, in case you guys missed that. Is that even a reference? <laughs> it's not. That's just, okay. It's very on the nose. At 13, is 13 a lot of boba to be putting in a 13 drink? 13 is very little. I was going to say, like, how? Dude, well, I also know that, you know, it's like a health thing. Maybe you don't want to go too hard on the, the no, complex carbs. Listen, if I'm going to go for boba, <laughs> I'm going to go for boba. I mean, we'll put the 13 in for now. You could have at least put in, like, 52. One, <laughs> one s oh, for very each good, yeah. season of 13. You're right. You're right. Ross, you play Zach Dempsey on 13 Reasons Why. I do. Three seasons. You know, you mentioned now that you've been a high schooler for a while. A lot of those high school roles have also been the jock. Lacrosse, basketball, football. Yeah, baseball. Baseball. How many of those sports were you actually playing in, in high school? Uh, none. None. None of those. Were you, <laughs> were you not I mean, even a jock in high school? No, I was not. I, I played tennis in high school. So Are you serious? Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Can we play sometime? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I used to play competitively for like. Oh, okay, maybe maybe we shouldn't. No, play I, but I've also haven't played in like 15 years. Okay, so maybe now we're even. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah right. I, I got to pick it back up. Okay, but. sounds good. So I'm guessing, do you not relate that much to your your jock characters like Zach? No, not really. <laughs> the reason why I like Zach is because he's kind of like a nice jock versus the some of the other yeah <laughs> the mean jocks right. on the show. Like Reggie is a mean jock, but we yeah. love him because he's just. Nick. Uh, but yeah, no, Zach is just like a nice jock. Right. He's like a good example for how a high, high school athlete should act. Right. Most of the time. The other thing about your character is that you're a heartthrob in oh. this show too. Yes. And in real That's life, not heard. just the show, okay? Just the show. I'm a fake, <laughs> I'm a fake heartthrob. I was going to say, in, in actual high school, were you, did you get that same heartthrob uh, treatment. Yeah, you know, to be honest, not really. No, not no, even I mean, with I, You had a girlfriend in first grade that didn't carry yeah, over. That, that I peaked. I peaked in first grade. <laughs> Ever since Sydney Good Hand, that was that was the pinnacle. <laughs> that's so. I'm so sorry. It was downhill from there. Oh dang, that's that's a. No, no. I mean, I had like a girlfriend or two in high school, and uh, it, it, I, I wasn't like a jock. Or I wasn't like the cool kid, but I wasn't like you know. Um, I think it's because I grew up different that I, I had to develop social skills to fit in. Okay. So I, or at least I, I like to think so. Yeah. Um, so I would just kind of float around from social group to social Got group it. and yeah. So, so you were widely accepted, but like you didn't have like one particular identity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I widely uh, welcomed Got it. into the, but I, I just was like a, a floater. Um, the next ingredient okay. that we have here is actually some soy milk. Okay. Now, the reason why I chose soy milk is because you grew up in Virginia. Yeah. In Fairfax, Virginia. Yeah. Did you know that soybeans are a major agricultural product of Virginia? <laughs> I didn't either no. until I had to do research for the show. Also, I would have been concerned if you knew that about Virginia. <laughs> if you're not I, from Virginia. I know every state's I know every agricultural, state's the major yeah. agricultural <laughs> exports. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off by pouring 250 cc's. There's some numbers here if you look really close. CCs, closely. not milliliters? Not milliliters, CCs. All right, oh, okay. You good? 250? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You grew up in specifically in Fairfax. Yeah. And I just want to make sure that you got your Fairfax facts straight. So we're going into a game right now. Simple questions, all right? Jeez. I'm not going to know. Are you not going to? I'm not confident up, in this at all, but let's do you it. You grew up in Fairfax, Virginia. What is the capital of your state? Richmond. Are you sure? Yes. That's correct. Yeah. I was just like, wait a second. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was actually scared there. I was just like, oh my god. All right. Fairfax is uh, part of the DC metro yeah, area. The DMV. It's part of Nova. Yeah, DMV. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to take the DC metro oh, out to Fairfax, what line would you take? Oh God. Uh, have you ever taken the, yes, the DC Metro? I have. All right. I have. So just many. put yourself back on one of those drunken nights coming back from. <laughs> that's the that's the trouble. <laughs> it's because mostly they I were. was just. I think the yellow line. Ooh, you're in the right side of the spectrum. <laughs> Red. The the other one. Blue. No, the same. Orange. The orange. Or line. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. I was almost there. That's what I'm saying. I kind of remembered like a that like. You're uh, close. My first two guesses. This is yeah. In between the first two guesses. Last question of the Fairfax facts. Why don't you just call it the Fairfax? Why do you have? Why do you got? It's why, my show, why Ross. You gotta, why you got to tag on another facts on the end? Each February. Okay. Fairfax holds a special blank lovers festival. See, Virginia's for lovers. Yeah, uh, it's blank lovers. Virginia Every lovers. <laughs> the Virginia lovers festival. The Virginia lovers festival. No, it's in February. It's the Valentine's lovers. Ugh, close enough. The the chocolate lovers festival. How is that? 
I don't know, you grew up there. You never went to the Chocolate Lovers Festival? No! <laughs> well, next time you go back, uh, please check out the Chocolate, chocolate Lovers <laughs> I'm gonna go, Festival. sign me up. All right. <laughs> Now that we kind of know a little bit more about Fairfax and where you grew up, um, I want to know how your experience was growing up in Fairfax. You know, you essentially immigrated over here, right? Yeah. And also, yeah, like you said, it was kind of diverse or yeah. how was it for you? It was relatively diverse but because it's DC. So, and I also went to like, right. you know, I went to school with like a lot of politicians' kids, but oh. it was still predominantly white and it was still like, very white culture. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of stories of like other kids being bullied for yeah. being Asian and stuff like that. And I, I never really got that. I never got bullied, yeah. but we still deal, did deal with the stereotypes and still like jokes were made. Cause back then it was just like, they, they were thought of, mm -hmm. they were harmless or innocuous. Like, yeah. you know, who cares if we're making this joke or that joke? So uh, yeah, I still never really felt like I belonged. I see. Yeah. I was gonna ask like, you know, as a like biracial kid too, yeah. did that, ever play a part in terms of like your struggle to find that identity or yeah. to understand who you were? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's um, it's having like one foot, you know, my, with my white half, but not like fully feeling like I belong because yeah. I just didn't look like them. Because if you look at me, obviously like I'm Asian. Yeah, Some yeah. people think I'm full Asian, but then a lot of like the Asian kids there, um, it's a weird, ironically, because there was an Asian population, I did, like they could form their own clique, like mm. a lot of, and I wasn't a part of it. And that added to like what I said before, I just kind of floated around. It's that feeling of not being Asian enough yeah. to be Asian, you know, even right. though it's just like, I grew up with my mom and, you know, and I grew up in America. So yeah, it, it, it is a weird thing. I like, even as a 30 year old, I got more confident in right. Asian American now because this is like a very new emerging, yeah not majority, but like a major minority group is like Asian American and biracial people just mathematically are gonna yeah. happen more and more as time you, goes on. You are the future, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, I forgot what comedian said it, like Russell Peters, he's like, right. we're all gonna be beige. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Ross, Yeah. you work out a lot. I dabble. In your workouts, obviously you have to take some protein sometimes, add a little protein uh, to your shakes, right? Now, not a lot of people have ever done this before by putting protein in their boba drinks. I call it broba. Broba tea. Broba, broba tea. Broba tea. We have some uh, protein powder here. Okay. Um, what flavor? The flavor is unique, actually. Okay. The flavor is, is cricket. Is there another story? Cricket. Cricket? This is... Like it, like cheap, cheap cricket? Cheap, cheap, but actually kind of expensive. <laughs> well, yeah. This is 100% ground cricket powder. Okay. Are you familiar with that cricket is like a crazy source super, of protein? Yeah, it's right? a super food. Don't smell it? Yeah. Have you had this before? No. It sm smells like earth. <laughs> it smells like, like an Asian market. Yeah. Yeah, like an herb market. I didn't want to just bring you regular whey no, protein, yeah, right? I so I was like, let's, 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 you know, I think Ross is an adventurous guy. Oh yeah. So let's go for it. So we're going to do, we're going to do one, this probably is one cricket maybe. That looks maybe no. wait no way more because it's I, I, up. That's that's got to be at least seven. This is gonna be my first time like having any type of cricket. No, I'm excited, but yeah. you look you're you're getting a little pale over there. All right, here we go, here we go, bam! All okay. right, one all right, scoop for you, one scoop for you. Yeah, I'm gonna do a heaping scoop. Heaping scoop. All right, this guy wants the entire cricket family. I need to get some protein. <laughs> That's a lot of cricket. That's a lot of cricket. It's okay. D did you ever have that like shredded uh, pork? Stuff? Yeah. That kind of reminds me. Uh, Ro song. Ro song. All right, so let's put that. Let's put that on. Make sure it's tight so we don't get cricket get all over. Wet cricket all over the place. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. There. You, oh, very good. See. I, I literally went to a mixology class yesterday. Yeah, you know what to so do. It's, it's like that. Shake, 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 shake. All right. So here's the thing. What what we were experimenting with earlier. This isn't like a protein that dissolves because it's just- Because it's cricket. Because <laughs> it's exoskeleton, it's yeah. going this. Yeah. It's Because we're eating yeah. exoskeletons, yeah. which cool. are not supposed to dissolve. Cool. cool. I didn't choose to, you know, bring up the the protein for no reason. Like, you know, you, you work out a lot. You have this this persona, this larger than life, life persona. You play a superhero. You're mm -hmm. like, you know, playing, um, you know, football stars. As an Asian male, mm. like how important are those types of roles to you? Like, do you, do you ever think about it? Like, do you, do you feel pressure that like, oh, I'm supposed to like offset this other stereotype? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I, you hit the nail on the head with that one. It's like, there's um, like, you know, Asian males are some of the only uh, like gender race um, combination that has been like just emasculated through all of media for decades and decades and decades. Like, um, 
it's just so many stories of like you know the Asian like Jet Li's. Yeah. Uh, I, I forgot what movie it was, but he was supposed to like. Oh yeah, Romeo kiss. Must Die. Yeah. yeah, and he was supposed to kiss the, the, the yeah, and yeah. they cut the scene out of the movie just because. And, I mean, I'm not gonna say why, but it, what we assume is just because they didn't want Asian men to seem like you know Romantic. desirable. Yeah, desirable. It's one of my personal goals to just change the image of the Asian male. Is that like we're, we're not these scrawny little nerds that don't know how to talk to girls and, yeah. and you know because that's literally all the the Asian characters when I was in high school like that's all that's I all you see. saw right yeah yeah and I think I think that's a tough thing too because it's like you know we ultimately I think we just want to be seen as like a spectrum of people you know yeah. like I think like you know when you think of like white actors and you see um, you know like you see Seth Rogen you're not like oh I guess every white person is like Seth exactly because yeah. they have Channing Tatum's right so yeah. we want that balance like we can we can be quiet we can be you know, um, smart nerds, but we can also be this too. Yeah. Like I think that's what we what yeah. we're striving. We can be for. all of it all at all the it. same time. Yeah, yeah. And so um, you're you're just representing that one. You're, yes, you're exactly. representing yes. that side of the spectrum. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I think we're we're fighting a lot of different battles <laughs> yeah. of like representation, and it's just one part of the spectrum has been over exactly exposed, where the other one has like not been. So at all. each each like you know bench press is like this is for this is for the culture. It's <laughs> okay. That's exactly why I work out for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason. <laughs> That's a good motivation, honestly, yeah. Like, I know we're joking about it, but it, honestly, it really does, like, you know, it's it, it does motivate me. All right, so we're gonna put some ice in here because we want a nice, refreshing drink. Oh, you don't have any reason for the ice? You don't have a you don't have a well. Cool, that's just because cool, you're so like, cool. Fat. Okay, this is really nice looking ice. Yes. We're gonna do two <laughs> ounces of sugar, and the sugar is uh, because you're so sweet. There you go. So two of these. Just two, yeah, two of the small. Yeah, one. So we're going for two ounces. I'm gonna go back and shake that up. Go for it. All right. So we're just gonna just go light. Just try to hit a try to hit a piece of ice so that it kind of like dissipates it. Oh my God! There's crickets in our drink. This is weird to look at. We um, don't fill it all, all the way to the top. We need a little bit of room. Okay. For more crickets. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna bring out like whole crickets. We got some scorpions coming too. Yeah. We got one final ingredient, okay. and it is activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. Yes. So have you ever seen this before? No. So the reason why I chose activated charcoal is because it's black, and um, you have a super suit that is also black. Oh. So we're gonna pour this right over. You're gonna same thing. Hit the Whoa. top of an ice cube so that you can get. That's that's funky looking. Yeah, try that. Just a little bit. Oh, uh, you know, I, yep. Hit I, the ice cube, yep, yeah, there yep, you go. I get it now. All right. It kind of looks like your suit. You got that a little the yellow bit. and the black. That was, yeah, look at that, that's actually <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, the lightning bolt. Exactly. The, uh, oh shit. So you play Eugene in I Shazam. Do. Yeah. Could you have ever imagined when you first started that you'd be playing a superhero? As an, especially as an Asian American. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, it was always like a dream, but it was one of those dreams that you never really know if it's gonna be possible because yeah. just the space isn't there. Like it, right. there aren't characters. Like right. of course I'd done the research on all the Asian American superheroes and yeah. there's like, yeah, like Shang-Chi and, yeah. and Amadeus Cho and all these. Um, but those weren't really being made back then. Right. And they, they weren't even in the conversation. Not even close. Yeah. yeah. Back when I was, you know, playing Ian Yurita on major crimes, yep. th that was never, it was always, Something that I aspired to, but um, nothing that I th that I thought was possible. I just yeah. wonder, like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like pressure to like <laughs> have to be a particular way, or are you just kind of like, hey, man, just like let me just be who I am? Yeah, I, th I think there's pressure. Not that it's like necessarily changing who I am, but I, uh, of course, I, I do feel pressure of being careful of like, you know, just setting a good example and just being a role model because um, that is something that I've wanted to do, especially if I want to create change. Yeah, um, yeah th there's like a standard that we have to hold ourselves to. And I mean, not that that's a bad thing, yeah. but. Uh, but, it, but it is like this feeling of like, like I, I talk about this with a lot of people where it's all that pressure shouldn't be on like one single person no. or one single character, or like where you have to feel like I represent the entire community, right? Right, like, and, right, right? And thankfully, there are other now superheroes yes. and other main characters that can kind of shoulder the weight along, along yeah. with you. Yeah, it's just showing that there are multiple facets of who we are. Right. There, there are multiple types of Asian superheroes. Exactly. There's ones that are more, um, you know, related to the homeland, I guess, <laughs> <Yeah>. for lack of <laughs> yeah. to, to our native culture exactly. than those ones that are more Asian American. Yeah. Like, the thing about Eugene and Shazam is that yeah. 
he's not a martial artist. Right. You know, he's he's not like a stereotypical Asian. He's just an, like an yeah. adopted Asian yeah. American kid. Um, and then you have Shang Chi, who's like martial art, and that's great because you know that's preserving right. part of our culture that makes us unique, and that should always be there. Yeah. Um, and that's that spectrum yeah. that we're talking about, right? We want yeah. to, we want to have we want to have more more than just one, right? It should yeah. just be one. Yeah. The thing is, the drink is done, right? But we all know that you don't just go ahead right away to drink. No. You always got to take a selfie with it. Okay. <laughs> Into all the boys, always and forever. Okay. You there was a there's a travel montage. Yes, there was. Of you taking food <laughs> selfies yep. all around the city. Yep. I'm gonna set the timer real quick. This is a crazy device you got here. Hey man, I came prepared. As if you're in the To All The Boys montage. What face should I make? You tell me. Hmm. Um, what should I be thinking of? Do one thinking of Noah next to you, as if you're traveling oh, with Noah. Like, let's put that Noah. into the montage. Good old Noah. Like, Noah's right there. You can CG yeah, we'll, him in. Yeah, we'll Photoshop him. <laughs> Perfect. Now is the time for the moment of truth. Okay. We gotta drink this thing. I'm man. nervous. All right, these are bamboo fiber straws, by the way. Oh, 100% okay. biodegradable. Okay. Shout out to Crop Sticks. All right, here we go. So we gotta mix it up. You use the straw to mix it up. That'd do anything for you. I don't know, get the, you gotta, you gotta make sure you get the, the jackfruit all mixed in there, yeah. It's actually mixing pretty well. Ross, thank you so much for making this drink with me, inspiring this drink. I call this the Ross's Jacked Milk. <laughs> I don't like the sound no? of that at all. <laughs> Jackfruit. It's because it's jackfruit. <laughs> I don't like that and at all. And milk. <laughs> That's why. I just heard Look, it now. I, I had a visceral response to that. I just heard it. <laughs> Let's just drink. Let's We're just drink. Let's just drink. <laughs> okay. All right. Move I, we've never tried this. Whoa. Whoa, though. That's not bad. That's, that's kind of nice. Yeah, the that's jack, jackfruit. The jackfruit really plays with the milk, the soy milk. Yeah. Mm. Cause the soy milk's not like too thick. Yeah, it's not too sweet. Yeah. I don't taste the cricket. Yeah. But I'm getting all that cricket protein. Yeah. You know? You get all the benefits yeah. of it. I've never had jackfruit boba or jackfruit. Milk. Milk. Jack milk. No. <laughs> I, the, saying it twice isn't gonna make it better. <laughs> All right, Ross. Hey, thank you so much for coming to my cafe. Thank you, man. This is thank you for the jackfruit. Yes. Uh, yeah, we had this was a good little chat, man. I'm glad we got to catch up. Yeah. And, and you will always know that this is the Ross special at Bopa Mofo. Yeah. So if I come in and I say, hey, can I? <laughs> See now, you, now you want to. Now you want to ask for it. Can I? Can I get one of my? Can I get one of my jacked milks? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't. Thanks for watching <laughs> Spill the Boba Tea, everyone. Follow Ross, <laughs> links below, links everywhere. You already know where he is. Come get my jacked milk, everyone. We're gonna ship this to him. We're gonna ship this bottle to him. Yeah. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ross. Thank you, man. <laughs>